guys I hope you're all doing great today so in the last lesson I showed you guys the easiest way to cut a square pillow cover in this lesson I will show you how I insert the zipper and finish off the pillow here on the table I have my cushion cover panels lined up together with the right sides together and I have my zipper so I usually choose a zipper that coordinates with the fabric that I am using to make the pillow cover and I also choose a zipper that is just about an inch narrower than the cushion itself now on this cushion we have a half an inch seam allowance so to insert my zipper what I'll do is line the zipper up here and I'll make sure that on either side of the zipper here I have at least a half an inch because I'm trying to center the zipper. Then I'll mark off just about an inch and a half from the end here of the panel. I have my pin. It's an inch and a half in and an inch and a half in here because when I'm finishing inserting the zipper I want there to be an overlap of the zipper the next thing is to mark off where I'm going to stitch because I will be stitching this area and this area so because we have a half an inch seam allowance I'll go ahead and I'll mark off and half an inch from the edge here because that is where I will be stitching this will be my stitching line and I will do the same thing on this side I'll mark off and half an inch so it's an half an inch from the top edge to where I will be stitching and it's an inch and a half from the side edge to where I will be stitching here because this is where the opening will be so I'll just take this to my sewing machine and stitch here and here So now I have stitched this side and I have stitched this side. I then go ahead and I open my panels right side down and I'll open the seam and iron. So I'll press this area down where the zipper will be inserted there we go So now I have ironed my seams and across the opening where the zipper will be inserted. The next thing I'll do is take my zipper and I'll put it face down onto the panels and I'll line it up so it's just about a half an inch from this edge and this edge then I will pin it in place on both ends and when you pin it you should make sure that the opening is lined up nicely on top of the zipper so what I'll do now is take this to the sewing machine 
and I will stitch right across here and I'll stitch right across here to finish inserting the zipper. So if you have a zipper foot, by all means use your zipper foot. But if you don't have a zipper foot, it's fine to use the regular sewing foot to stitch your zipper in. I'm using the regular sewing foot here. And another thing is, as far as it's possible, keep your zipper closed. But when you get to where your zipper pull is, Put your needle down into the zipper and the fabric, lift up your zipper foot and pull back the zipper pull past the zipper or the regular sewing machine foot. Then put the foot back down and continue stitching. And this is the easiest way by far to insert a zipper. So now I'll do the other side. Here my zipper is still open because the zipper foot is right here. So I'm going to start stitching and as soon as I pass the zipper enough, I'll push the zipper foot back so that the rest of the zipper is closed and it's easier to stitch that way. So I'll go ahead and start stitching this side. And we have inserted our zipper by far the easiest way to insert a zipper so we can open and we can close now we are going to finish up the pillow so i'll just keep the zipper open so that when i'm done i can flip the pillow inside out so let's flip it back this way and make sure we line up the edges properly and I'll just stick a pin at the top here and I'll put an That's it. We have a pillow. Then you can go ahead and you can use your serger if you have one or use a zigzag stitch to finish off your edges. But you have a pillow. So let's turn our pillow inside out. So guys, this is by far the easiest and the quickest way to insert your zippers in your pillow covers. In the next lesson, I will show you how to make perfect inserts for your pillow covers. If you learn anything from this lesson, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet share, leave a comment below, and give a thumbs up. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video lesson.